Good. Talking about no good money, I was browsing Sky Sports. I thought, you know what? Let me check what I want from my beloved club, Man United. Let's see what the deal is. Have the takeover news been confirmed? Are we going to be sold anytime soon? Are we going to have some extra funds for players for the fucking you know, transfer window coming up? Is that going to be happening anytime soon? That is what I'm wondering. And guess what happened when I checked Sky Sports? Guess what happened when I checked Sky Sports? Boom. I get this dummy, dumb news. Rusu seals Arsenal move after Man United exit. I don't care who Rusu is. Who's fucking watching women's football? Not me. Where's the news about Man United's takeover, mate? I don't want to see this lady on my fucking home screen. She's probably an amazing player, probably an amazing person, but I don't care. I want to know about flipping Man United takeover news and sell news. Are we going to get taken over? Is the sale going to go through? Will we get rid of the Glazers anytime soon? That's what I want to hear. Not see this blue-eyed assassin on my screen. She's probably amazing at what she does. She could probably spin me in flipping knots, but I don't care. Never watching women's football. I haven't watched it in, in ever in my entire life. Not a single match in four. I don't care about this stuff. Why is it front news and center in here? Why is it front and center on Sky Sports News? Somebody tell me. Makes no sense. But then I scroll down and I see this extremely underwhelming fucking, you know, stale toast of the news. Mason Mount completes Man United Medical ahead of the £60 million move. This might be the most underwhelming transfer in Man United history. Maybe up there with when we sign fucking Michael Owen or some shit. This is horrendous. Or it could be good for him because he's not coming in expectation. But spending £60 million on Mason Mount is LOL worthy. LOL worthy to spend £60 million on fucking Mason Average Mount. This is ridiculous, especially a player on the decline. His best years or his best run of form is quite behind him, I think, personally. Is he better than what we have available? Probably not. But still, we then go and spend £60 million on this absolute donut. So I decided, you know what? Let me have a browse on my favourite Man United Twitter account, UTD Plug. Let's see what's happening on UTD Plug. Guess what? More Mason Mount news. This time, Eric Ten Hag stuff. Eric Ten Hag has been crucial in a Mason Mount deal. It was a perfect feeling. Mount wanted United. Ten Hag wanted a player with that kind of desire, so it's a perfect match. Ten Hag is sure that he's a perfect midfielder for his tactical idea. Guess what he wants? He wants runners. I'm so confused with Ten Hag. Ten Hag at Ajax was having players bopping the ball around, nice little triangles, combinations, one-twos. Now all of a sudden, I mean, Man United, all he bloody wants is runners. All he wants are bleep test assassins. All he wants are cross-training, cross-country fucking runners. Guys who can blitz a 5K and a 10K. I don't want that. I want to see good football. We want to see attractive football. We're not going to beat the likes of Man City, Liverpools, and all those likes of the fucking title playing running football. We're going to beat those guys by being the superior footballing side. Having technical players who can receive the ball in tight spaces, maneuver out tight spaces, pass the ball through lines, pass the ball over lines dribbles run whatever but not just running off the ball that's what we signed mason mount for just to run off the blood club ball it's absolutely annoying um and again no more info really on there just more news about mason mount um signing a contract in 2028 so basically he's going to retire at man united basically for lack of a better term you, uh you see pictures here of mason mount and his family out in cheshire having a good old white time you see more pictures here of bruno fernandez on holiday in portugal Posting all the first trap ticks and stuff. Main out of Kasuga's second summer. And then the funniest bit about it, the funniest bit of news for me has been this type of news that we always get from United because we're the kings. We're the kings and queens of being aware and on alert of a player. Look at this. We actually need, right? I'm one of the people who doesn't think we need Mason Mount. I'm one of the fans out here who thinks we shouldn't be signing any players. We shouldn't be selling any players until the sale or the takeover of our club is complete. Until we get the Glazers out of this club and we get new ownership, we shouldn't sell or sign a player, in my opinion. Because what's the point of signing a player under one regime, only for a new regime to come in, not think he's, you know, think their surplus a requirement, and have that player is on the bench, iced out, creating a bad mood, or taking up salary. Make no sense but we digress the club wants to do what they want to do if you do want to then go sign players in my opinion we need six i might go as far as saying we need eight players eight first team 
in the squad players to compete with the people in the first team, in my personal opinion. And the number one position, the number one position we need to look after, guess what it is? It's not striker, in my opinion. Guess what it is? Defensive midfielder. That's what it is. We need cover for Casemiro. Casemiro last season came in. A lot of people doubted him, myself included. Did he have the legs? Robert don't sell good players, blah, blah, blah. And he proved us all wrong. Performed incredibly well when needed for the majority of the season. Definitely one of our better players that season, especially considering what happened, right? Cool, great. But we also saw how important he was to us. We relied too much on Casemiro. To the point where whenever Casemiro was suspended or injured, our team looked completely different without him. So, in my opinion, we need a backup for Casemiro. We need somebody to play backup for him when he's injured, when he is a rest, or when he never to be get suspended. We can't go into next season just relying on Casemiro to play as a deep landing you know, defensive midfielder or having Scott McTominay or Fred fill in there. We can't do it. Those guys aren't cut for it. So go and sign a player. And who's a great player to sign at the moment out there? Obviously, the Declan Rices will be good, but he's obviously going to be out of our budget, out of our price range. And then we've got the likes of Sofian Amrabat over there at Flipping Fiorentina, right? The Moroccan G, right? The bald Moroccan assassin. He could be a good option. And look what the news is here, courtesy of United Plug. Man United would now be interested in hiring Sofian Amrabat. However, an offer has not been formalized yet. Of course it hasn't. This is briefings coming from the fucking Glazers to appease the fans like myself. They don't want to sign any players. They're just stringing us along. So they're saying, look, this player that you all rate, we're interested in him. We're looking. Like another one here. Uh, Sofian Amrabat is a player Man United are looking at and are aware of. We are aware of FC. That's what we are. We are aware of FC. We don't sign. We don't do anything. We're on high alert. We're aware of. We're taking a look at. We never sign and get this play over the, over the fucking line. And it's fucking annoying. I hate it. And instead, here we are resting on the news of flipping Mason Mount. And in the next bit of news at the top there, any more midfield signings would be dependent on sales. Well, duh. But we don't sell well. We don't buy well. We probably overpaid for Mason Mount by about 20 million. He had one year left on his contract at Chelsea and we paid him 60 for some dumb reason. He's also going to be on 225,000 a week or something I've heard. Nutty. Nutty. He wouldn't get that money at any other club in the country. No other club in the country would sign him for that much. But of course, United always do that. We always fucking back up the brink truck and fucking sign on an empty check for anybody. And it's absolutely frustrating. So no news on the Man United front of the takeover. I'm here pulling my hair, shouting into the wind, hoping things change. But will they? Probably not. Probably blood clot not. That's the real shocking, sad state of affairs. Nothing will change. I'll still be here sad and alone and frustrated because I am. Um, I now flipping hate it. I really, really, really do hate it. But hey, what can we do?